Victor and Rolf's Spice Bomb Extreme has quickly picked up as one of the most popular fragrances to wear during the winter times. Most YouTubers you see will discuss this fragrance and will actually sing its praises due to the complex nature of the oil and note buildup, as well as the overall pleasing factor of the fragrance. Many people love to talk about Spice Bomb Extreme, but does the fragrance live up to the hype? And is this fragrance as good as what other people say? What's going on guys? Bo Million coming back with another fragrance review. If you have not already done so, go ahead and click the subscription button, click the notification bell, press the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Spice Bomb Extreme is one of those fragrances that most people have come across as they've gone down the YouTube rabbit hole. I don't know if you're like me, but when I first started going down this rabbit hole of the YouTube fragrance community, one of the first videos that ever popped up on my feed was along the lines of best fall fragrances, best winter fragrances, top five fragrances everyone should own. And before very long, I came across the one and only Spice Bomb Extreme. Now I heard of this fragrance for quite some time before I ever purchased the bottle. As a matter of fact, I never planned on buying Spice Bomb Extreme. After all, it's another vanilla and tobacco fragrance. Well, I already own Tobacco Vanilla by Tom Ford. Why on earth would I buy another vanilla and tobacco fragrance? But I was on Aura Fragrance one day. I happen to really like that site, by the way. But while I was on Aura Fragrance, I came across the top selling fragrances at that current time. And one of the first fragrances on there that was not sold out was Spice Bomb Extreme. So I looked at the price point. Three ounces for $80. Honestly, that's a steal right there, considering the fact that it's such a popular fragrance. So I went ahead and made the purchase. When the package came in the mail, I opened up the package and saw the box staring me right in the face. I'll be honest, I'm not so blown away by the box. As a matter of fact, for the name Spice Bomb, I expected it to be a lot more, but I have learned to never judge a book by its cover. So I opened up the box, pulled out the fragrance, and my first impression of the bottle was much different than my first impression of the box. Of course, I've seen enough videos on YouTube to know what the bottle looks like, but you never really know until you have it in your hand. And my first time holding this fragrance, I legit thought I was holding a grenade. The bottle's in the shape of a grenade and even has a pin that you need to pull in order to spray the fragrance. So here we are. I took the bottle out of the box and I pulled the pin. And I did what every fragrance snob does. Actually, I don't know if they do it or not. It's just what I do. But I took Spice Bomb Extreme and I did two sprays on my neck. And what I began to smell was so much better than what I had expected to smell. After all, for all this time, I heard that this was another alternative to Tobacco Vanille of Tom Ford. So all I really expected was for it to smell like a cheaper version of Tobacco Vanille. But I have to be 100% honest. I don't think this fragrance is much like Tobacco Vanille at all. Tobacco Vanille is a great fragrance that I happen to love even to this day. But that fragrance is very straightforward and linear. You smell tobacco and you smell vanilla. Spice Bomb Extreme, on the other hand, is much more complete of a fragrance in my opinion. Yes, I get the tobacco. Yes, I get the vanilla. But there is a type of freshness to this fragrance that's not in tobacco vanilla. Also, I notice a bit of a powdery note and Fragrantica even says there's lavender inside of it. And I have to be honest, I am so glad I bought this fragrance because I even consider this to be somewhat of a gourmand to some extent. No, it doesn't have that chocolatey or honey smell, but the vanilla in this fragrance is so well put together that it almost gives me that mouth-watering texture vibe feeling. Another thing I noticed of this fragrance is that the atomizer is phenomenal. The atomizer pushes out so much fragrance that honestly, three sprays of this fragrance is going to do the job. Of course, I have a bit of a problem. I kind of like to spray a lot more than three sprays. If I'm wearing this fragrance, you may not want to sit in the room with me. Unless you're obsessed with the fragrance like I am, but that's all besides the point. The bottle is great quality and you can tell it's very durable. As a matter of fact, it's even very heavy thing sits like a ton of bricks. But of course, with great presentation comes great responsibility and the fragrance lives up to the height. It lasts a very long time on my skin. Normally, I like to spray on my shirt collar too, but I'm almost a little worried that there's some dyes in this and that it's not a clear liquid. So I tend to not spray directly onto my clothes and more directly onto the skin. But Spice Bomb Extreme has great projection and is definitely going to overpower the room. It has great longevity as well and you will get that 
that six to eight hour mark of great longevity. As a matter of fact, I even say somewhere around one to two hours of extreme projection, another four to five hours of good projection, and then you'll just have that great scent bubble around you for the next few hours. And if you happen to spray this on your clothes, you will smell it the next morning. So here's what you're gonna notice when you spray Spice Bomb Extreme. Off that initial spray, you're gonna get a very aromatic and even bright feel to the fragrance. It's funny to think that you would even get that in a tobacco vanilla type fragrance. But you're going to get that lavender, some florals. It's gonna be very fresh and aromatic with that muskiness or with the darkness underlying it. After some time and when the fragrance begins to die down, the lavenders and the florals are gonna kinda go away and you will really begin to notice the tobacco and the vanilla and the warm and fresh spices really coming through. That is where the peak of the fragrance is. And after some time and that begins to die down, you're really going to get that nice and subtle tobacco vanilla texture. Those tobacco and vanilla notes are really going to settle on and that's when you truly notice the gourmandy effect of the fragrance. Is gourmandy a word? Did I just make up a word? You're gonna notice the gourmandy effects. The great thing about this fragrance is that it is definitely a crowd pleaser. Jean-Paul Gaultier Elixir is the new fragrance on the market. Everyone seems to be going to that fragrance. And so I will say this, if you're looking for a cheaper alternative than Jean-Paul Gaultier's Elixir, and you like those types of fragrances, this right here is the fragrance for you. As a matter of fact, I prefer Spice Bomb Extreme over Jean-Paul Gaultier elixir. This is definitely a crowd pleaser. Many people are going to give you compliments and if it is Christmas time or that deep deep winter this fragrance right here is going to settle so amazingly in cool weathers. Unfortunately I live in South Florida. Our winters go down to 70 degrees so I don't really get to fully enjoy this fragrance for what it has to offer. But what I will say is this. I like to be daring and I like to push boundaries a bit. So when it was 90 degrees I wore this fragrance outside and I did not regret it at all. Do I recommend you wear it? during the warm months? Not necessarily unless it's your thing, but whenever you decide to wear this, as long as you're not gonna go for a run, this fragrance right here is going to be a showstopper. And as of right now, this is definitely my favorite fall and winter fragrance. And there you guys have it. That was Victor and Rolf's Spice Bomb Extreme. If you have ever used this fragrance or if you own this fragrance, let me know your thoughts on it in the comment section below. But Bo Million here signing out. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel one more time. If you have not already done so, I would love for you to click the subscription button, click the notification bell, press the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.